The senator from Pickens, what purpose See, do you rise? Senator would yield for one quick question. Senator yield for one quick question. Senator from Buford? Yeah, um, yes, of course sir. I do. I apologize. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Senator. Uh, senator from Charleston mentioned the concealed weapons permit. CWP, if I look at the bill on page 52 at the top of the page, it appears that somebody that has a certificate uh, to use uh, marijuana would be prohibited from either purchasing or owning a firearm. Is that correct? It, it, no. Well, yes and no. Um, this bill does not prohibit it. This bill requires that the patient be advised that when you fill out a permit to get a, 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 a be able to carry a weapon, that you have to attest on that on that application that you're not in violation of any federal or state law. So I think in fairness and in full disclosure, if you're going to be a patient that wants to access medical cannabis, we felt like there had to be information put in there to let them know that it is still a Schedule One drug under the Controlled Substances Act. So even though it wouldn't be a violation of state law, it would be a violation of federal law. And so it is information being provided to that to that patient because I think it's important for them to have. I mean, if I mean, I, I mean, I wouldn't want the bill to be silent and to have somebody access medical cannabis, get certified by a doctor if it's legalized by state law, and then to unknowingly fill out an application stating that they're not in violation of federal law, I, I don't think that's a position I wanted that person to be in. So it's in the form of a disclosure to that person so that person is aware. So if they fill the form out properly when it asks that question, and I don't remember exactly uh, My how understanding it. is that it does. And, 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 um, you check a yes instead of no, then yeah, you're not going to get a firearm. Yeah, and, and again, in, 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 in the 37 states that have legalized this medical cannabis law right now, by definition, if they're going to access medical cannabis under state law, and if they're going to apply for, a, a, you know more about this than I do, but if you're going to apply for a CWP or a carry, whatever it is, I think they ask you that question. It came up because law enforcement wanted this put in there. Law enforcement said people need to be aware that if they access medical cannabis, they may be putting themselves in a position where they can't answer that question in a way that would authorize um, a, a, a permit. Does that make sense? It does. Okay. So it sounds like to me, they cannot have a gun, own or, or purchase our own, but that, we can check that. I think so. No, I think that's right, but that's, that, that's, that is the case. That's the reality that, that federal law, CSA, has it as a Schedule I drug. Um, 